Hello, it's Mr. Tilson here. You're here in a, an old French farmhouse in the Chartreuse area of the French Alps. It's not very far from where I live in Grenoble. Um, we've just finished installing a stair. You can see this stair behind me here. It's a stair in beach. It's got uh, um, two half, two quarter turns and it goes up two flights. So we've got uh, actually two stairs, one on top of the other. Um, the stair itself, uh, geometrically speaking, is a pretty classical stair. It's got winding steps and it goes up um, quite normally. But the difficulty on this particular uh, uh, job was the fact that the stair is actually built, you can see this bit here, it's just coming out into the, the living room, but this is the only bit which is actually got, um, is actually visible. The rest of the stair is actually built tightly, fitting tightly between two walls, and it goes up two flights. And the difficulty we have is that the walls are in an old house, so they're very irregular. They've been, um, the plaster, they've been doubled with plasterboard, and the plasterboard follows the wall. So although the, plaster, the plasterboard uh, installer has actually made the walls nice and clean, the plasterboard doesn't really, it's not really right angle, it's not very regular. And our difficulty uh, has been to actually build this stair in an irregular well, difficult, in fact, practically impossible to measure precisely, build it, assemble it in the well because there's no room around to, to move it around. We have to build it inside the actual stairwell and fix it onto plasterboard. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour now and we're just going to go around the, the, the stair that's finished installing. We've just got a few finishing bits to add now. I've got some fillers to add onto it to just to complete it. But we'll be coming back in a couple of weeks' time to do that. But I'd like to just show you now the stair finished and fixed and show you the principle of how it's been built. Thank you very much and let's go. So as we can see here, this is the part which is actually inside, which comes or sort of sticks out into the living room. If we have a look around the living room here, this is a living room. Let's go over here and we can walk into the living room from the kitchen. This is the kitchen. So here we've got all our tools, we're, just, we're still installing. And then we can see now the stair just sticks, this bit sticks out into the living room. It's the only bit that sticks out of the walls. Let's go over now to the start of the stair. Let's move over here. And this, moving over here, here we have the beginning of the stair. We can see the stair just fits neatly between these two walls here. We can see that uh, the stair has been built using my three uh, section string. That is, we have a string which is underneath the steps, a part of the string which is underneath the steps and rises up against the side. And then we have a sort of a plinth which goes on top of the steps here. You can have a look at the more detailed photos. I've, got, I've taken some detailed photos of the stair or the way it's assembled. But let's walk up this stair and we can see, you can see a whole, the whole flights as they've been built. So we can see they've, built, they've been built up between these two walls here. And as we move up the stair, the stair turns, they're all dancing steps here because it's very tight. It's a tight turn. And you can see there's a pillar here in the middle and the stair actually has to wind itself around the pillar while fitting itself neatly between the other walls here. So here we're arriving at the top of the first flight of stairs. We can see the, the last step here joining to the old boarding which hasn't been renovated yet. And here we're arriving on the first floor. Let's go look, if you look down at the stairs here, we can see the way they move down the well. And we can see it's quite it's quite a tight fit. It's been a tight, it's been a tricky job getting this getting this installed, especially since we've had to install it actually inside the well bit by bit. So this is the second flight, or the second stair, shall we say? This is the second stair. We can see that it fits between these two walls up here. 
I've put some protective hardboard onto the, um, the steps so that we don't damage them when we walk on them. And if we walk up here, this is a more, this is a bit of a complicated um, stair here, because if we can see here, we've got a sort of a, a, a little landing here as it moves up. This landing has had to be inserted because if we look up higher here, we can see that there's a roof, sloping roof, and without the landing here, we would have not had enough headroom between the, the stair and the sloping roof. So let's move up a bit further. We see the stair twists itself around between these walls here. On this side here, we've got a, a hollow in the wall of wall with, because there's a sort of a beam thing here which sticks out into the stairwell. So that was a bit of tricky as well. And we can see the stair now is adjusted between these two walls and arrives here on the second floor. Let's climb up onto the second floor and have a look around and see the going see the stair going down here. And here we can see the stair moving down between the two walls and twisting itself around, twisting itself around down to the first floor. And we can see if we step back a bit here, we can see that the, the landing here has been adjusted so that we get the right regulation headroom between the sloping roof and the quarter turn landing here. So that's the that's the two flights of the stairs. Let's go down now. Let's go down this stair. And you can see how it looks moving down between these two walls. What we have to do now, we, there's a little bit of gap as the walls are very regular. You can see here there's a little gap to be filled. We've allowed about um, one centimetre play on the, on the stairwell. And this allows us that we can see here, for instance, that in certain areas, the one millimetre play, the one centimetre play has been used up because if we look at this particular point here, the stairwell is twisted. The central column here is actually twisted with the stair against the top arrival and the column twists and spreads out from the stair here, about, about a centimetre. And the centimetre was just enough, in fact, just enough to compensate for the irregular stairwell, the irregular walls and the plasterboard in the stairwell. What we can see as well here is if we move down, we can see here we have the first flight. We haven't put the, plot, the hardboard on yet. And we can see, if we look closely, let's look closely at the first flight going down here. We can see that we have a, our centimetre play, which has been on this side here. The, the string is offset from about a centimetre, 10 mil, from the wall to allow for the wall being twisted because it's very irregular here. As we move up the stair, the wall actually gets close to the stair and touches here. And as we move down, there's another 10 mil play. And this will be covered with a filler that will be a, a flexible filler that we'll be adding next week or the week after. And we can see here, if we look closely, we can see how the stair has been glued with special polyurethane glue onto the wall, onto the plasterboard. This is the way I fix it. I'll show you in another little video how I do these fixings here. And we put the, fix, the, the stair is fixed. It's an invisible fixing because the fixings are actually behind the plinth part, which covers the steps afterwards. So there's no, we can't see the fixings at all. And there's uh, quite a lot of fixings and they're, they're just uh, blobs of polyurethane glue here, reinforced with screws that are actually drilled into the plasterboard. And this is quite a lot of them, and this polyurethane glue is really, very strong. The stair holds up really, very well, very well indeed. So let's go down.
so that's the that's the stir. I hope that's been interesting, and um, let's, I'm going to write a little article on how the stair is built and fitted together. And I hope uh, that that can give you some ideas. If you find yourself in similar situation, maybe you could uh, pick up a few ideas from this particular job and use them to make your life a bit easier too. Right, thanks very much and goodbye.